My name is Dr. Sarah Myhill and I'm here speaking uh, for Life the Basic Manual. We know Lyme disease is becoming increasingly common um, in this country and is a great driver of pathology. So much so that NICE have actually published some guidelines about the treatment of Lyme. But really I've looked at those guidelines carefully and they are not fit for purpose. Essentially they address the problem of acute Lyme disease but do very little for the patient who is chronically ill with ME with possible chronic Lyme disease. Now Lyme disease uh, is a spirochete and the best parallel to this is syphilis. And the treatment of syphilis went through a, a similar um, um, evolution. With syphilis we have three stages of it. We have primary syphilis that produces a local lesion um, uh, in the genitals. If that is not effectively treated, that then progresses to secondary syphilis, which is often characterised by arthritis and maybe rash. And if that is not uh, treated effectively, it then progresses to a tertiary syphilis, which can affect the brain, and that is called uh, general paralysis of the insane. Essentially, it's a dementia. With Lyme, we have similar progression. And NICE guidelines effectively are just addressing the disease of you know, the gentle issues, if you like, you know, the immediate acute Lyme, the, uh, um, the bull's eye rash following a tick bite with the acute fever and maybe arthritis. Yes, they accept that that exists and needs treatment with antibiotics. But those guidelines do not even begin to address the much common pro more common problem of chronic disease that is driven by Lyme. Syphilis was called the great mimic. It can cause any pathology. And I think Lyme disease is going to be exactly the same. And I think Lyme disease, in fact, we know Lyme disease is already driving many neurodegenerative disorders. It's going to be causing inflammation of the blood vessels and therefore any number of um, uh, diseases that we call heart disease or arthritic disease, um, arteritic diseases. And my guess is Lyme disease will probably be driving tumours as well for the same reason that syphilis did.